Life's challenges, we all get them at some point in our life. And I've had one after the other, after the other. And I wanted to make this video to just be completely transparent with you what's been going on in my life and what's going on in my life currently even in this present moment now. And I'm hoping that this video inspires you and motivates you even when you've got challenges going on. I'm hoping that my own challenges in life and what I'm gonna share with you will help you to open up your mind and realize that you can get through whatever challenges you've got going on in your life. But before I go into detail with that, I first wanna give a shout out to Clean Machine, who I'm working with, and I love this company. It's a plant-based fitness nutrition supplementation company that is out there that sells some of the cleanest plant-based supplements such as this Lentin Clean Green Protein Powder, which is one of the most nutrient-dense, I mean micronutrient-dense protein powders, infused with enzymes, really easy to digest. Then we've got this Ahahi, which is a source of omega-3, which reduces inflammation and gives you a whole host of other amazing benefits. And then, quickly show you this one, Cell Block 80, which is a natural testosterone booster that also blocks excess estrogen within the body, cortisol and DHT, which is key for optimizing your body fat percentage and muscle growth. And actually lowering DHT is actually good for people that may have genetic issues with hair loss. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the Clean Machine BCAA flavored fruit punch flavor, more specifically, that is one of the only BCAA supplements in the world that I found as flavored that is naturally flavored with no garbage in. And if you're interested in these, what we'll do is put a link down below for their website and there will be down below with that a 30% off coupon that is only for this month which if you buy a bundle on their website that includes the Ahi Flower Omega 3 supplement you'll get 30% off your total order but when that coupon codes run out you can use another coupon code that you use all year round that'll be down below which is a 20% off coupon and that is off anything and it doesn't have to be a bundle that includes the Ahi Flower so you can always use that code at any time or if you want to order on the website now but you don't want our heat flower then you can use it for the other supplements they sell on there so i'm going to go through the challenges that i had so around three weeks ago or so i had my a thousand dollar iphone xs break which i did not expect to happen whatsoever because i got told that it was waterproof when it turns out it's water resistance we had the song cry event going on which is the thai celebration for the thai new year and there's water fights everywhere i actually did a vlog of that if you haven't seen it i put a link for it up above and yeah in the process of that going on i was filming loads of good footage for the vlog that i put in that video and yeah because it's not waterproof it turns out and it's just water resistant it ended up damaging my phone which i talked about in a video around the time that that happened but that wasn't too much an issue it's like okay it's something that cost me quite a bit of money but it's like life goes on i can just buy another one or just get it repaired so it's not really a big deal then the second one that happened around i think two and a half weeks ago i had my main channel youtube channel more specifically called sun fruit dan Tur that I'd made almost 1,300 videos on over a five year period and it was making me thousands of dollars a month. So now I'm losing out on about $4,000 or more a month, which is a lot of money, less that I'm now earning a month. And that channel, I was just so passionate about it. And I dedicated so much of my life to that YouTube channel for around a five year period. So it's a really, really big loss, not just financially, but yeah, it just, completely made all of my content disappear on YouTube. So it's not just affecting me in a negative way, it's stopping me from fulfilling my life purpose and passion. That's helping so many people heal from sickness and disease because that channel was focused upon health, healing and detoxification. So that was one of the biggest challenges that sent my way. And I didn't expect that to happen at all. And when it first happened to me, I felt very, very upset. And you could even say depressed. And there was multiple times after that had happened, I would wake up in the morning and not feel good whatsoever. But then I'd get myself to shift the state that I was in. I was like, okay, this is happening. I just need to accept it. And I would just get myself up in the morning and get on with other things in life and just focused upon other things that I'm very passionate about and that I love to do and that I enjoy and that bring me so much fulfillment and satisfaction. And when this happened, I thought to myself, okay, I prefer this didn't happen, but I need to accept it. I could try and get a channel back, which I've tried multiple
couple different times but I'm not having any luck whatsoever. So one good thing was I had most of the videos backed up so I've moved them over to another video platform that has complete freedom of speech that allows me to talk about the certain things that I made on that channel that got the channel terminated because yeah, a lot of people didn't like the alternative things that I was sharing for healing and they said they were dangerous and then YouTube got loads of complaints and then they said it was violating the terms of services so that's why they terminated it. So since then, I have now been working on moving all or the majority of the videos over onto a new platform which now means I'm working way more trying to do that and I've just set up a new channel for the one that was terminated but I'm only gonna upload the content that will not violate the terms of service of YouTube even though I was not aware of that at the time until the channel got terminated but I won't make that mistake again with the new Sunfruit Dan YouTube channel that is gonna have a first video uploaded to it tonight. So I worked out a way to still get my content out there. Yeah, I'm not gonna be getting as many views at least for now, but at least I can still get my content out there and redirect people to this other video platform that I've put the videos on. And like I said, I've lost a lot of revenue every single month, but I have a lot of money saved up. So yeah, I have no reason to be concerned about running out of money at all. And I have sources of income from many other different avenues as well. And I have more than enough money to cover all of my expenses every single month. And because I've been an entrepreneur for around 11 years, there's just so many ways that I can make money from many different things that I'm very passionate about and that I love to do and enjoy so much. So in that situation, it's like, okay, I have been upset at times and it's just not the nicest thing to go through. But again, I just need to move on with my life. So I'm just doing as much as I possibly can to make this channel specifically my main channel and make it grow as quickly as I possibly can. And by doing this, it's forcing me to actually learn of new ways to make way better video content for my subscribers, which takes way more time for me to create. Normally, I used to work from about 6 a.m. to anywhere from 11 a.m. to about 1 p.m. in the afternoon. But now I'm working normally from around 6 a.m. with pretty much no breaks in between, anywhere up to 4 p.m., 5 p.m. or even 6 a.m. PM. So I am having to put so much time and energy into the content for this channel and all the other little different things that I have to juggle as well because I have so many other different things such as, such as coaching that I do for people, supplementation programs and other different affiliate businesses that I run and product businesses and so many other different things. But it's all good. I really enjoy to do all of them. So I'm not complaining about it at all. It's like, yeah, this just happens at certain times when you're an entrepreneur. There's times where you have to work way more than you have to at other times. And it's like, okay, I love working and yeah, I can get it done. I just need to push myself and make the changes that need to happen. Otherwise, my life is just not gonna continue to go in the direction to live the most abundant lifestyle where I have so much freedom, do whatever I want, buy whatever I want, and just not have to have any money worries and have complete financial security and abundance. And at the same time, just help as many people as I can with all the different things that I share out there that can help people change their life, such as ridding themselves of certain health issues and symptoms, achieving the body they want, the fitness levels, the energy levels, and a variety of many other different things. So yeah, I have so much going on. And there is days because I'm doing so much at the moment and I have been going to bed later than what I normally would and not sleeping as much and trying to do the best that I can. So some days I am more tired than others, but I just keep going and I know that everything will work out. And sometimes I have had some worry come up or some concern come up or even some fear in me, but I always just remind myself that everything is gonna be okay. There's a lot of challenges now. There's a lot going on. There's just so many different things that have been sent your way simultaneously, but I've had way more intense challenges been sent into my human experience in the past and I've got through them and I've always become a better version of myself and a stronger version of myself and created more of what I wanted to in my life and just managed to develop a better relationship with myself and just have more of the things that I've wanted to in every area of life and less of the things that I don't want within it. And when this all happened, Happened where the channel got removed, I just started questioning everything. What do I really love to do? Was I really enjoying it that much? There's many times I wasn't enjoying making the content for that channel for a while. So as well, I am just focusing more on, okay, what do I truly love doing? Do I prefer doing 
doing more of this thing or that thing or that thing? Should I go in a different direction or this or that? And really just questioning everything and just being as non-attached to things as I could possibly be. So if I see there's something that I need to go towards that I'm not necessarily doing now, a certain thing I need to change, it's like, okay, then I just make the necessary changes that need to happen. It may not be easy, it may take some time to make the changes and get the results that I want. But I know it is inevitable that I will always get the results with whatever I'm trying to work towards. And then at the same time as this all going on, my girlfriend not that I've been with since December and pretty much been around almost the whole time since we met. She left here around a week ago and just before she was leaving the day, we had a really intense emotional trigger come up. It was one of the most intense conflicts that have ever gone on for us. And it's not something that we both obviously wanted and it was very overwhelming for us both, but we managed to get through that even though it was not something that I prefer to have going on, but it was like, okay, this challenge has been sent both of our ways. How can we both grow and evolve from this? How can we become aware of certain things? This doesn't happen again. And just being optimistic and asking, how can I learn, grow and evolve from this? And how can she, and how can we as an intimate couple? And that's something I wanna say. If anyone is in an intimate connection, you have conflicts come up, certain emotional triggers, it's okay for them to come up. As long as you resolve the conflict fully, both people are hurt both their emotional needs are met and any compromises certain things that need to be changed that they do happen so then you can both move else going on within you which then is having a negative effect on the relationship over a longer period of time it's going to just make your connection just go downhill with each other more and more and more and inevitably it's just going to destroy the relationship completely and then everything has been pretty much really good with us since she moved to Pai Thailand and I've had to just be juggling all these things that I mentioned to you and way many more things than I could even explain to you in this video because me trying to explain this all to you I can do the best of my ability to explain it to you but you would need to actually be in my life and see what's actually going on to fully comprehend and understand all the different things that's going on but I am a strong person I know how to meet my emotional needs I know when to take it more easy and being more loving towards myself I know when to push myself to do certain things that maybe I don't feel like doing but I know it's a good thing for me to do and getting the support from the right people when I need it and yeah knowing that anything that's going on will not last ever and it will pass and I'm sure well pass even not pass and I'm pretty sure as with pretty much any other human in the world that you've had challenges at some point where you thought oh my god when is this going to end this is so overwhelming like, you may even think I wish this wasn't happening why is it happening to me and then you've got through it at some point and then you look back on it and I can do so many things in my life and think wow I'm so grateful that I went through that it was really intense very overwhelming for me and there's many times that I didn't like going through it be where I am today now within myself and within my life I wouldn't choose to go back through that same type of experience but I wouldn't change it due to the reasons that I've just mentioned and many other a so-called positive or negative experience I just see it as every experience is a beneficial learning experience whether you see that or not and you can empower yourself today and with every single challenge that comes into your life am I going to be a victim say poor me why me and just whine and complain about it and mope about and do nothing about it or you're going to say okay this is really overwhelming for me. I'm very emotional right now. But you just think to yourself, I will get through this. I'm going to grow from this. I'm going to learn from this. And it's going to help me to improve my life and myself and just become a person that I was not before and just go more in the direction of becoming the best version of yourself. And then last but not least, everything was fine between me and Nock, she's had some emotions come up because one of her love languages is physical touch and I'm not around her. And it's very challenging for her to not have me around and have the physical touch and physical connection because we're in completely different locations. It's bringing a lot of emotions up for her. It's completely okay that she's experiencing them. It's completely understandable. So I do make sure that I validate her experience and hear her as fully as I possibly can. Showing her that I do understand and that I empathize with her and I'm compassionate with her as much as possible and yeah last night she just got massively triggered out of nowhere due to this going on I managed to meet all of her needs fully do non-violent communication which is a form of conscious communication one of the best ways for conflict resolution to be done in the best way possible she moved through it but then today we did a video call and yeah it's bringing up so much for her us not being together that yeah <sighs> 
We both had very, very intense emotions come up during this video call today because it's such a big issue for her. And I don't want to leave here where I am in Koh Phangan, Thailand. It's the most ideal place for me to live in every single way. And she's now in Pai, Thailand, and she wants to stay there. It's the most compatible place for her to live. She loves it way more than here. So she doesn't want to move back here in the future. I don't want to move there. So now we're trying to work out some sort of compromise or we might have to just separate and not be in an intimate relationship anymore. And this was going on as I was out about doing some jobs just before I come back to make this video. It, yeah, I still have a lot of heaviness in my chest. I've had some sadness come up and it's like, man, another challenge right now with everything else that's going on. But yeah. Everything will be all right. Everything is always going to be all right. And no matter whether we stay together, my life will still continue to go on and everything will work out for the best in whatever way. I may not see clearly what's going to happen now, but all I can do is be in the present moment as much as I possibly can. Not be going into the future and creating all stories in my head and being fearful and worried as much as I possibly can and trying to make the most out of this whole day that I'm having today. Yes, I've had all these challenges, but I'm going to go and meet up with some friends soon and get my social needs met. I'm making this video, which is really enjoyable for me to make. And again, life goes on yeah we might end the connection and if it's meant to go in that direction then it's meant to be and I'll keep you updated on this completely because I like to be completely transparent with you but I wanted to also make this video to show you I have ups and downs as well yes I always pick myself up and get on with life and make the changes happen within my life that I need to change so I have more of a life that I truly desire and yeah I am human too so if you've got any challenges being sent your way and you have ups and downs know that I have them going on as well everyone does someone tells you they're not man they're really disconnected from their emotional body or they're lying to you or some other different things where they're just very very disconnected or they don't like to voice what is truly going on for them and they just like to make themselves seem like an enlightened being that's so positive and they're always in a pure positive happy state and everything's just sunshine and rainbows and fairy tales and puppy dogs and it's just not like that at all all. And I always say a life without challenge is a life without growth. And the biggest challenges that I've had in my life have been some of the most beneficial experiences that helped me become the person I am today and be where I am now. So I needed them. I may have not have foreseen them coming, but I made sure that I embraced them and just did things going on. And one last thing I want to mention is one of the days that I have recently was a very intense day. It didn't go quite well. A few things went wrong. And then when it got to the nighttime just before bed, I worked out certain things that I'd done in the day had made it go in a certain direction that wasn't making me feel the best. So when I became aware of this, I was like, okay, what did I do within the day that would be good for me not to do tomorrow when I wake up so I have a better day? So I went through, analyzed everything, thought, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make sure I don't do this, do that, don't do that, da -la 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 -la. And when I woke up the next morning, I got myself out of bed. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this thing in this order, that, 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 that that and make sure that I'm more balanced in my day because I pretty much made myself work pretty much the whole day the day before and it met my working needs but it didn't meet a lot of my other needs as well so that's why it went a bit pear-shaped and I wasn't feeling really good but this day when I woke up I was more balanced within my day did many different things and then I felt so energized so good mentally and emotionally because I just did more of the other things that needed doing because I started to let other things slide like letting my apartment get a complete mess, not going out and making sure that I have enough food in the house to eat and doing other various things as well. So yeah, I just came to the realization I need to make myself more of a priority. Work needs to be a huge priority, but so do I. And also my inner child and my emotional body, including my physical human body as well. So that's it for this video. I hope this video has had a positive effect on you. If it has, let me know down below in the comment section. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this with other people and don't forget to subscribe to receive a lot more videos on this channel from me and specific types of videos you can expect to get from me. Our videos just about me and my life, what's going on, calisthenics, workout, and progression videos, what I eat and what I do in the day videos, intermittent fasting, weight loss videos, and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you and teach you certain information to help you go in the direction to achieve and sustain more of the life and the body and the health that you desire like many other people have managed to create by following my information consistently and that I've used in my life that I see is very effective to get those results and way more 
positive results as well. So if those videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. And make sure you do check out Clean Machine. Even if you think you're not interested in the products, just go and check them out. You may be amazed to see some of the benefits that you could get from these. And I am actually now in the first day of making my 30 day BCAA experiment video that you'll see in about a month's time. So I'm making sure that I'm taking five grams of this daily. I've never taken BCAAs consistently every single day. I've taken them about twice in the past and they can really help with optimizing sports performance, reducing recovery time after training, increase muscle growth and a whole host of other different benefits as well. So I'm gonna document my whole journey with that, show you my weight before and after. So if you're interested in that and the other type of videos that I said that I make on this channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button next to subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.